Wren. Lumbers down midfield. Smith the target in front. Got a hand to it. Couldn't take it. Two on one in favour of Fitzroy. Blakey comes out with the football. Gives the hand pass to Ruse. That'll lose him no points. On to Broderick. Another possession. He's doing well. Ben Hart. Leads in the race. Shoots out the hand pass. And the Crows are going to come away with this. Tregenza. Long kick inside 50. Smith behind Paxman. Couldn't take the mark. Blakey and Jarman tangle. Jarman taps the ball out. Morrish. Caught. Drops it. Play on. Bickley. Uh, not Bickley. It uh, comes out to Liptak, and that's a minor score. Well, often you find when a side is in control for most of the day, as we see Fitzroy, but fail to put the nail in the coffin, that the underdog gets a sniff with about 10 or 15 minutes to go and come, can come home with a wet sail. And I just get the feeling that that's what's happening with the Crows at present. Elliot takes the mark, and that's what happened last week too, Gerard. We go back seven days. Broderick again playing a great last quarter. Broderick from his own defensive 50 metre line, marking contest out there on the outer side. Gale snares it beautifully, ground pretty soft, back to Wine. Kicks from a standing start up towards half forward. Maynard got a hand to it, couldn't take it. Lynch, snapshot, looks good, and Lynch has got his second. Graveston well, Lynch moves to the forward line after injury, kicks Fitzroy's 16th. 16, 14 to 13, 11. Well, he has been very handy when he came back onto the ground, initially off with a, what we believe is a knee injury, but on that occasion, picks up the ball, spins around, kicks an excellent goal. So he can worry about his injury in the change rooms after the game. Well, it may have ruined Adelaide's chances, even though we've got nearly 15 minutes left. They now need to kick four goals to nothing. McGuinness, tackled by Broderick. Desperate stuck by Lyon. Controls the footy. Handballs it back. Wine dispossessed. Wiedemann. McDermott on for Hodges. Tregenza running up the wing. Kicks it towards centre half forward. Out in front of Modra. Here's Liptak. Good shepherd, Modra. Liptak's kick. Effective brown marks 40 metres from goal. It may have just touched the glass, but the umpire has awarded the mark to Brown. He mentioned earlier that he's uh, quite a nice kick, David Brown. He's kicked three goals, so he's fourth. Could be a vital kick. It's Excellent. not bad, it's a goal. Four goals to David Brown, and Adelaide just... Clinging in there, 14-11 to 16-14. They trail by 15 points. Yes, it was a good interception from Wayne Wiedemann on half-back, which turned that ball over. Good roving from Liptak once again. Pinpoints the pass. Well, I couldn't still quite make out whether that ball hit the ground. Nevertheless, the ball back in the centre and a good goal to the Crows. Brown's fourth goal, 110 to 95. So Adelaide still in with a chance. And plenty of time if they're good enough to steal this match. McCormack to Blakey. Kicks the ball across his body. High. At the back, Osmond. What's he doing up there? Yeah. Long way from goal. Won't score with this kick. Can you lip read? <laughs> You'd have to be too uh, smart to pick that up. He wouldn't look out of place in a Viking ship. <laughs> Wiedemann. Anyway, Osmond taking plenty of time here. Ruse makes the lead, takes the mark. And now the ball's been brought back. And still Darren Smith 50 metres behind at centre-half forward. It finally wakes up and says he's even pointing to Wiedemann to go and pick up his man. And he takes the mark, or stands the mark. A bit of pantomime there. And also poor play. And wasting time for Fitzroy, which is good. Woo! Spiral punt kick from Osmond into the goal square, Mark Roos. And an Academy Award performance as well. I think he's, that's a 50 metre penalty, folks, but it's not going to make much difference in the wash-up. Well, Darren Smith can hang his head in shame there because he was 50 metres behind. He still, even when he was given the time, didn't take the responsibility on himself to go and pick up his man. And it's his responsibility for this goal to Fitzroy. Can't get another 50 metre penalty. 
<laughs> he keeps on getting a kick until he goes back on the mark. It's a goal. Ruse is second. And Scott Lee wanting to get the last word, but I don't think he will with the umpire. 17-14. Victoria's total. And the Crows 14-11. Here's the mark again. Great grab. Yeah, good body work from Paul Roos. Uses the arms to push away the opponents. Takes an easy chest mark. Oh, and there's the 50-metre mark from Jarman. A little bit uh, soft. An Academy Award for uh, Paul Roos. Ridiculous stuff. Yeah, it's boy, ridiculous. Andrew, Jarman grew him. 12 and a half minutes left. 116 now. 295. Roos' second goal. The task becoming more difficult all the time for Adelaide. Baldwin kicks uh, across his body back towards the edge of the square. And a good mark taken by Wiedemann, who still wants to go on with it. Well, he's a fighter, Wiedemann. He still thinks the Crows are a chance. Oh, I think they are too, but it's uh, going to be pretty difficult. That's going to be a free kick, and it will be taken by Wren. Wren is right in the centre of the ground. 17-14 plays 14-11. You haven't got much time to waste there. Sean, move it quickly. Eventually he goes with the uh, long kick towards full forward. No mark taken. Ball at the back. Seacamp. Well done. I tell you what, I think he is a very composed player, Marcus Seacamp. And he'll be an asset for Fitzroy over the season. Wren marks in the centre. Handball over the top. Wiedemann. Any space? No. Well tackled. Ball spills free. Guard. Kicks into the forward line. Fitzroy mark taken by Lynch. And you have no hope there, Patterson. It was a quick rebound. Well, it's the tackling that have won Fitzroy this game, if in fact they go on and do that. There it is, a great tackle there from Darren Weald. Dispossesses Wiedemann. And a magnificent kick and mark from Lynch. Lynch. Oh. Still favouring that leg. Hooks the kick. Jarman buffed off it by Guard. Guard goes after it. Hart the tackler. Chance for Maynard. Desperate stuff in the back pocket there for Adelaide. McGuinness is in the action. The umpire calls for a bounce. We see a little bit of desperation here from the Crows players, but it's a little bit late. The situation's desperate. It should have happened a good couple of quarters ago. Abbott. Lyon. Chance for Osborne. He's kicked another one. Richard Osborne has now kicked five. And Fitzroy will get the points here at Princess Park. 18-14. They lead Adelaide 14-11. For five goals to Richard Osborne. He has signaled that he is back in town this season. Relieved to the captaincy over summer. An excellent snapshot under pressure. Once again, Fitzroy taking the ball away from a throw-in. So Richard Osmond has five goals, three, ten and a half minutes left in the match. Pretty difficult for the Crows now. Jarman applies a tackle on Wielden. Lyon. Wielden does the shepherding. McCormack. Big pack of players down there. Lynch got pretty high. Maynard. Thought about giving it to Patterson. Wasn't the best of hand passes. Onto McGuinness. Wide to the outer side. Out of bounds on the full. And maybe that sums up the Crows' fortunes, at least in this quarter, maybe for the day. Wielded to take the free kick. Kicks into the man on the mark. Well, he has had a pretty ordinary day. Marshall. The man he kicked into. No one can take it. Ruse. McGuinness knocked the ball over the boundary. <laughs> the crowd says deliberate. The Fitzroy. game umpire to play that. Fitzroy have moved all their big guns up into the square now. Osborne, Lynch and Paul Ruse. Wren. Over the top was Lyon. Ball scooped back to guard. That Umpire. came from Lynch. That was just a tap. Out of bounds on the full. That's a free no, kick. He's playing the throw, but uh, yeah. the umpires, they get one thing in there, a bee in their bonnet. They've lost control there. They've kicked it away from the behind post. Unbelievable. And let it go. Lip tack. Kicks up towards midfield. And McCormack again. What a game he's played. Osborne, beautifully delivered. And of course, when you get kicks, it's what you do with them too that helps. Roderick. And you've probably got Fitzroy's three best players in that little passage of play. Would you uh, 
care to agree with that, Robbo? I think I'd give Baldwin a big rap, oh, Peter. Yes. I think he's Baldwin. been terrific on Tregenza. He's made Simon Tregenza a less effective player, and he really is a playmaker for Adelaide. He's and he's got a lot of positions, positions himself, yeah, hasn't he? 25. I don't think Tregenza's had much influence on this game at all today. Broderick. He's kicked two goals, one so far. Should be able to add to that tally. He, uh, he likes it. He's kicked three goals, one. But that will make the game safe for Fitzroy. 19-14, 128 to 14-11, 95. They've got something to shout about, Jared Fitzroy, haven't they? They've shown a bit. Yes, well, they were almost extinct last year, so saved by uh, the Tin Rattlers. And now they're back in business.